Smash! What is he not first in? He's not first in KDA. Why? Because he's on a bitch. Ooh, we're in draft, hell yeah. All right, is Lucian going to be banned against Smash? No Lucian ban against Smash. North is banned, bro. They're going to play Lucian Nami again, aren't they? Surely. Or are they going to play Zeri? Ooh. It's time for Poby's Corky. Wait, this is bad for Poby, though. If Tristana and Corky are gone for game two, then uh, Poby's in trouble already. <laughs> ah, Poby is here. I'm surprised he didn't go Corky. I actually think Corky versus Tristana. Tristana wins level one to four. And then Corky wins until Tristana has Kraken. And then when Corky has Triforce, he wins again. I really think Corky wins that matchup so hard. When Corky gets first item steel caps, his E shred is so broken. And his Q being magic damage goes through her steel caps rush as well. All right, Willa, what are we playing into, Gu uh, into Guan's Viego? Ah, uh, Talia. Talia Cassante. Talia Rennington. Jesus Christ. Yo, Dal, I think we should pick top here. I think we should pick top here. I don't know about Jace, buddy. What about Nar? What about Nar or, or Gregas? I don't know about Jace. Cassante's okay. I like Cassante. Ooh, I'm not feeling good about this game, man. Azir Viego just doesn't... I don't like Azir Viego. I don't know if I like Azir Viego. Lucian Ben is good against Smashy. I would be careful of Estrel as well. I hope Reckless is having fun. Yeah, I checked in on him. I think he's having a good time now. He's having a good time. I think he struggles with like loneliness there, but he's having a good time. Kaisa Ben meets Ezreal Ben. No Ezreal Ben. Yo, Smashy, Ezreal. No Ezreal pick. Yo, I'm convinced Ezreal is fucking OP. Why is no one playing Ezreal? Ezreal is mega busted. I actually would have really liked Kaisa and T1's comp, to be honest. Looking at their damage share. Zeri is good versus Ezreal. Nah, Ezreal's OP, I'm telling you. Good. Also opens up support really nicely. I feel like Zeri doesn't open up support at all. You're locked in to um, Zeri Braum if they blind Leona. Now if they blind Leona, you get Estriel Braum, which is even better. You have Estriel Braum, Estriel Rakan, Estriel Leona. They have to play uh, an Alistar lane, I think, here. But Alistar is dog shit against Estriel, so they have to play Leona, but they can't blind Leona because they can go Estriel Braum. Reckless, listen, Reckless. Yo, where's my phone? I need to call him. Don't play Yumi! Don't play Yumi if they play Zeri Lulu. Don't do that. Oh, they did Zeri Alistar. Okay, go Leona. Go Leona. Alistar is so bad against Ezreal. What are we thinking? I think I think Braum is good. Leona's good. Just don't do Rakan. Don't do Rakan against Talia Alistar. Ezreal Karma. Ooh, I, I hear the caster. Ezreal Karma. It could be good, but it's so risky. Oh, Reki, of course, is going to do Ezreal Karma. Enjoy the video, but make sure you're subscribed and you've liked. Now enjoy it more. Smashy, show it to me. Show it to me. Are they lane swapping? They are lane swapping. They're playing Alistar against Estrel Karma and they do not want to play that lane. I mean, playing against Estrel Karma in lane is absolutely abysmal. It's like playing dodgeball. So they're going to push Guan out and I think now they should know that they're lane swapping. I mean, Cassante sees Zeri. It's fine. Guan can start Wolves. I mean, lane swapping is good, but they can only lane swap for four waves. Anything after that and the bot tower is just going to get blasted. So, I wonder if T1 Academy knows how to lane swap. I don't think I've ever seen them in a lane swap. Have I? I don't know if this is their first time, but it, it must be one of their first times in a lane swap. I mean, what they need to do is stack wave spot and crash hit. Yeah, I think they got knocked out before uh, lane swap became a thing. So, TLDR for lane swaps, they're still possible if bot or top matchup is absolutely impossible. And in this case, playing Alistar against Astro Karma is impossible. Um, the only difference is top tower is 75% tankier than bot tower, I believe, or I don't know what the exact percentage is, but it's a lot tankier, so you'll see two plates die bot, and top tower will take no damage, you see that? Look at that, look at that. Whereas bot tower will take a lot more damage. Um, so basically they're trading gold to give to Zeri, so that she can get through lane, and get up in XP. Because what T1 could do is stack wave spot, poke them out and threaten dives, and Talia has to cover, which isn't ideal. So T1 will win the lane swap, but uh, yeah, Fox avoid the lane. And now the swap comes in. Dal basing in vision, I don't like that, but uh, it is what it is, just TP top. And um, so the trade-off here is T1 bot lane is a little bit further ahead, but their top laner is behind. Because now top wave will bounce into Renekton, and Cassante is down in XP. 
and bot wave will bounce into T1, so they're happy. Obviously, gold on, uh, on Renekton is a bit better than Kassante, but it doesn't really matter that much, I think. Mid is really easy on a lane swap. Mids can never die on lane swaps because the, the map is literally split in half. So all you have to do as a mid laner in a lane swap is hug the side your team's playing to. If your blue side, your mid laner sits here and hits the minions. If your red side, your mid laner sits here and hits the minions. You never stand in the middle of the lane. You stand on the far end. Ooh, he got Cassante W. That's a long cooldown. That was probably dead here. He's trading way too aggressively on this side of the map. He's dead. So first blood's gonna go to Fox here pretty easily. Running to Talia is quite OP. I don't think Renex needed to flash, but sure. Talia's TP, so he just TPs back to the wave. And Talia's gonna have to base soon, I think, and run bot to cover or something, because this is abysmal. They're stacking a big wave bot. T1's just gonna get Drake off it, though. I guess she could path down, actually. She's already based. Whose comp is better? I think Fox's comp is a lot better. I just don't like Ezreal Karma in this meta. I feel like engaged supports are so important in this meta, because it's such an AD carry heavy meta. Frontline is so important. I feel like if they had Leona here at T1, I think they would be in a much better spot. The Karma will get them a small lane lead and then... I just think that champ's useless. Nice play by Pobi. You got Trisana's flash. They can't chase Trisana here. Into, this is completely in. Chasing into their mission is so bad. Brown would be good too. Yeah, Brown would be really good as well. Like T1 have bot prio and they're winning bot and they can get drakes. But after the first 12 minutes, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, no jump. No jump. He's dead. He didn't get the jump reset. Big kill for Guan. T1 Academy's MVP, I think. Did Guan just take that whole mid wave? <laughs> it looked like Tristana E was about to explode. That's tax. That's tax. Yeah, bad jump timer by Daystar. His jungler's in base. Just rookie mistake. You can't jump in like that when your jungle's in base. Reckless might be dead here. Oh, he got the base off. Smash is dead here. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. That's just really unlucky. Now the Karma pick is completely useless. Why did Reckless then die? What, what do you want Reckless to do? If Reckless stays there, he dies too. Or he flashes away. He's level 5 Karma. Alist the way it works in that situation is if Alistar is behind you and you have summoners, Alistar just never combos you until you panic. And you just get whipped like... Uh, what is the word? Etched away at? I, I don't know what the word is. Chipped down. Man, T1 really needs to get the tower. This is a horror game state. They need to get this bot tier 1. If Estrel so OP, why does one kill matter in bot? Because you're playing Estrel Karma, right? And Estrel Karma needs to get a, a lead in bot against Zeri. Around 3-400 gold with a CS lead and, and perma push. But now Zeri got a kill, so Estrel and Zeri are probably even in gold. Which is horrible if they have an Alistar and they're even. Yeah, Estrel's not the issue. The issue is the, the, the Karma. What, what does the Karma do after lane phase if she's even? And they need to get the Estrel Karma to get this bot tower and get them uh, towards mid or something, I think. A bit tricky at the moment, though, because Drake's spawning. Whoa, Poby's winning lane. Hell yeah, Poby. Fuck him up. I think Fox can fight this, though. Poby. Oh what is my Poby doing? There's an Alistar in his face. What does he do? He hits him. Why is he hitting Alistar? Well, they got Drake and it's Mountain Soul, which is really big. But um, they lost first blood tower to Renekton and they lost six grubs against Fristana. Some bad news. Yeah, this game is mega rough for T1. They're like, aha, let's pick Karma into Alistar to win the lane. Enemy team lane swapped. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, they need to be really careful of losing top tier too. Yeah, Fox is getting pretty strong, but I mean, T1 just need to play around Drakes. They have decent poke for Drakes, but uh, enemy team does have Alistar. Oh my god. Insta flash. I mean, fair enough, they were TPing. Oh, this Karma pick. Oh. This Karma pick looks rough. Is it best of one? No, it's best of three. They got time, they got time. They can grow into the series. Maybe Smash can cook this game though. Estriel is really strong. This Renekton is way too fed. He's gonna get Sterak second. It's gonna be a horror. This Zeri Diabol is 16 years old. He's 16. Wait, does that mean he's 2008? Oh my god, they lost bot tier one as well, bro. This map is a horror. 2008, I was playing Halo 3 in general. Rank 50. Can T1 win this game? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> they really can't. Let's have a look at T1 Academy's frontline, shall we? Ah, yes. The Thornmail Cassante at 17 minutes. <laughs> Shit. Uh, that's, that's, that's their frontline, really. That's it. No Alistar, no Leona. Just a Thornmail Cassante. He's 0 7. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier. Ah, Viego turns into Alistar and becomes their frontline. This is why my chat is genius. This is why my chat is far superior in intelligence to every other chat. They are problem solvers. We have an Imperial Mandate Karma <laughs> with Zazas and a two item Estrel. What can we cook? I'm just uh, waiting for Fox to start Nash and the game is done so I think. That Renekton is absolutely off the rails. T1 are stalling, stalling, stalling. Which is not bad to be honest. They just need items on Estrel in his ear. Xander needs to get tankier. Time is their best friend. I mean, Fox will secure Drake. T1 can just not fight it. T1 are doing a very classic strategy. It's called, can we fight? No. <laughs> I mean, if Diego gets Sterax, maybe he's uh, a bit more useful. What does T1 even do here? Well, you can't do anything. You've lost control of the map with the range support. An enemy team has uh, better side lanes. You just catch waves and farm. Try and get as strong as possible for the next fight. Uh, and maybe hope that they throw a Baron. Support level gap? Doesn't matter. Alistair has a button that makes him tanky. Karma doesn't. This could be a very sad ending. Where Fox just do Baron, secure it, and the game's over. Or it could be Fox starting Baron, getting poked down, Guan sealing it, and then them throwing. I thought it, that was a bad engage from Duro. It was good, but it was bad, because Talia wasn't in range. If Talia was in range, it was good. Alistair not having flash relieves a lot of threat on the T1's backline. Because now it's just Renekton they have to be careful for. Yeah, Sterex, watch out! Oh, I don't think these fights that good. Poby's not there. He TP'd to mid tier 2 though. They need to be careful of Talia W on the turn. They didn't even get Renekton flash. Oi, oi, oi. Go on, I got the blue though. Smashy can cook here. Oh, oh Renekton was over the wall. That's unlucky. I mean, what can he really do about that? You would expect Renekton to base there, right? It was smart of him to stay around. Oh, level 15 Renekton. But Poby's also level 15, but Talia's also level 15. What the fuck? But Zeri's also level 15, huh? How is there four players all the same level? And then these guys level 8. <laughs> Alistar really gave Zeri solo XP. Alistar actually funneled his team XP. Is that good or bad? No, it's mega good. There's a level 15 Zeri. That's mega OP. Listen, I'll say it. I said it before, I'll say it again. Supports, Rel, Alistar, Leona, Nautilus, they just need level 6. After that, just fucking don't take XP for the next 40 minutes of the game. Just go in, press R, and die. And if you can make a super engage, make a super engage. Any blue orbs? Any blue orbs? Nope, Baron's gone. Baron is absolutely gone. Yeah, this game is completely, completely over. They're gonna be on soul point as well. Oh man, Azir, Estriel, Karma, Karma, Karma. <gasps> Good thing is they can't use Karma next match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are right. Poby has 100% KP. I mean, you're not wrong, Poby does have 100% KP. I mean, now all they have to do, Fox, is just wait for soul and it's just over. T1 are gonna have to try something. The problem is they have no engage. What do you want them to do? Their comp is to poke them. But if they can't get to the objective, then how are they supposed to poke them? Guan's losing every camp. This draft is just unplayable, I think. He's trying to get Leandrews on his ear, but... One Alistair flash with the Italia follow-up, it's a one-shot. Why are you saying change mid and top, man? It's one game. They're, they're four and zero. They're losing one game. Chill out, chill out. Uh, I just think it's... I think change draft. This draft is abysmal. You have no threat on anything. Anywhere. No one's under threat. Look at them, they're just ending the game. Well, Guan's done. Nice pick though. Insane pick by Guan. I still think they're gonna lose the game, but that was incredible that he pulled that off. I mean, their engage is literally... A Viego flash W. That's their engage. Azir Shufflecut. I mean, if Poby can make some of the roads lead to him again, that'll be huge. GG. GG, well played. I mean, their draft is unplayable. Oh, Poby! <laughs> yeah, this draft was... Oh, uh, I don't know, man. It's okay. Just go next game. Go blue side, change the draft, take it to 1-1.
Don't stress. Karma's gone. Don't play range support that game. Wow. You're telling me T1 went on blue side? Wait, Senna's open. Senna's open. Wait, they banned Rel, Nautilus, Leona? Well, what happens if they take Renata? Guys, he, he only has one support left. They banned three melee supports? What? Oh, yeah, yes, Nico as well. You're right. Corky Jin. Wait, what are they doing here? If they pick Renata, they can play... I mean, they can play Renata or Nico here. What is Firax doing? Are they doing like a Thresh game? I mean, the only engaged support left is, is Nico and Rakan. Unless I'm missing something. Leona's down, Nautilus down, Rel is down, Alistar is down. Renata is strong. They might have to play Blitzcrank, I guess, then. Whoa, Poby Syndra? Poby Syndra into Corky? Don't play Jin Yumi, don't play Jin Yumi. Don't play Jin Yumi, don't play, don't be weird, don't be weird. Okay. I think they might have to lane swap with Jin Rakan into Kalista. That sounds rough. Oh yes, Sejuani. Why is no one playing Sejuani here? Sejuani is busted. It's banned, well it's banned on 4-5, but in LCK Sejuani is a first pick. Yeah, they've got easy jungle here. I think Maokai is amazing. Yeah, perfect pick. I think Poppy jungle is great for T1 as well. Ooh, Nocturne is good against Jin. I like Poppy or Nocturne. And then I guess we just rock. I mean, Cassante is banned because of Fearless. And so is Rumble. So is Skarner. So is Camille. It's Aatrox, right? It's Nocturne Aatrox. Unless you want to play Nocturne Kennen. Nocturne Kennen is really powerful. I mean, the Aatrox is obvious because of the Camille ban, right? I am scared of Malphite on 5 here. It's not a great lane into Aatrox, but I'm convinced Malphite could win, a ga win the game here. Kalista Nocturne Aatrox with double AD carry. I don't like Gwen too much. I saw that matchup with the World Final, it didn't go well. Nar, yeah, that makes sense. Lane swap time, yeah, it could be lane swap time. I like Fox's Draft overall better. I think Maokai Corky Jin is really, really powerful together. Really good poke, really good zone control. But T1's Draft is really strong through bot. I also think T1 is slightly paranoid of getting lane swapped on, so they're probably going to get some... Yeah, here we go. They're going to try and invade top, get some mission, because uh, I think Fox will want to lane swap. But if T1 can smash them through bot lane, then T1 will, be, will win this game, right? But uh, it's a very tough, tough ask, I guess is the best way to put it, to smash through bot. I'm surprised Fox are not lane swapping, but... Well, they're getting match lanes, now T1 just have to destroy them in bot. Is Poby Syndra good? I'm a bit worried for Poby Syndra. Okay, Rakan no flash. I like the Kalista Renata. I'm just a bit concerned they might win through bot. But um, Nocturne's not a very good champ when it comes to diving bot or, or, or playing around bot. Nocturne's a very selfish champ. Nocturne just wants to farm. Whereas Maokai can waste time around bot, it doesn't matter. Ooh, they got his barrier. So that's two com two summoners down. Barrier and Rakan flash. Mid is not going great. No, no barrier. There's a 2v2 kill. Oh, he didn't die. The minion's gonna kill him. <laughs> Listen to the caster. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough game. Oh, Smash missed his Q. Was it Guardian or what? Rakan E plus Guardian or some shit? How is that guy not dying? Yeah, it was. Oh my god. It's a horror in bot. It's a horror. It's an absolute horror. Why is Reckless playing support? Uh, I don't know. He's just got auto filled, I guess. Oh, nice play by Reckless. Really nice play. Oh, save the lane a bit there. Yeah, Reckless saved the lane a bit there. Nice patience. Don't look top. Ah, it's fine. It's Nar Aatrox. Both build steel caps and then you just farm. Oh no. Nice block by Reki. Nocturne ult as well. Did I get the fear? Nice flash. Smashy! 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 Oh, the sniper! Nice play by Smashy. Nice counter gank by Guon as well. That's huge. Bot's one. Bot is saved. Oh, get him, Dal. Yo, kill him. Fuck that bitch up. Ult on that guy's ass. Get his flash. Oh! That's right, bitch! 
Okay, T1's back, T1's back. What is Sobero doing there, though? That guy is trolling. Okay, Popester. You wanna flash QR? Oh. Okay, okay. Back up, bitch. Back up. Look at Corky's build. Classic. Merc trades cult here. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the late game. For real, for real. Oh! Q2! QE! Oh, dead rat. Hey, hey, look, Maokai, look, Maokai. What is that guy doing? Look, Maokai. He's trying to get the wave, that rat. That means Maokai's top. What does that mean? Bot tier one. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> what I have to do is get Drake and they're chilling. Oh my god, I thought he wasn't gonna pick that up then. <laughs> you just No, you just went back to pick it up! Yo, 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 yo! Hey! 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 No, there's no way! Flash over, get it! Uh, uh. <laughs> you even thought about He even did the little back step! He did the little back step like Oh. Nice kill. The Nocturne is good. What is this Corky build? This is the Chovy build. Except he's missing um, First Strike. But First Strike versus Syndra is probably dog shit. Alright, what are we gonna do, T1? We're not gonna throw it Baron. Okay, we got Maokai Flash and Mikhail's, it looked like. Oh, Corky! Do they have Mikhail's? That looked like Mikhail's on Maokai, no? Come on, T1, you can get this Baron. You have Kalista and Maokai Snow Flash. They're starting it because Nocturnal's coming up. They are a bit scared, aren't they? But they have Aatrox. They have Nocturnal. They can Nocturnal and finish, but Maokai's in the pit. Oh, God. Just kill Maokai, maybe? Oh, God, this is scuffed. Oh, God. Okay, they got the Baron. Oh, my God, that Renata ult was huge. Here comes the final fight. Is this a fight though? Kalista has ult. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Reckless got chunked like a Marasaka. Wait, they're in stock. Wait, they are in stock. Holy fuck. I looked at the T1 shop and they were sold out. Wait, go on, where are we going? Oh, he W'd the Maokai W. That's huge. Oh my god, he. Did you see the hostile takeover there? The Jin just fourth shot the, the, the Rakan in the head on the hostile takeover. <laughs> the good thing is they're on YouTube and they're basing, so we can see it again. Look at this hostile takeover. The Rakan lives. Hostile takeover. Bang. <laughs> Ching T1 Academy was going to make its playoffs. Yeah, I think they'll make it. Jin, no flash. Oh, Atrox is bleeding. Oh, he lived. Hostile Tega was big again. Oh, the shot hit. Go in, Reckless. Onto the Corky. Oh, he missed! Corky flashed! I feel like T1 Academy, even if they win the series, they're gonna go into a win drought soon because they're gonna start playing against Damwon and KT. And they need to not get tilted because if they lose to Damwon and KT, it's fine. They're gonna lose like two or three series in a row. But they just need to not fucking like break after those losses. They're on good pace right now, though. Yeah, I'm looking at Poby items, and I'm like... Hmm. He has two items, two components. Corky is almost on IE. I think they have a small problem right now. Enemy team is also free farming. And they have no flashes versus Rakan flash and Maokai flash. Yeah, Jin's also gonna have LDR soon. Whoa, this looks a bit scuffed. They got an RTP, that's fine. Renata ult has to be massive here. Oh, Poby knocked the Rakan flash. That was huge, Poby. Poby knocked the Rakan flash. Just stall, stall, stall. Bot wave. Cork has the base. Or they have to flash in. Watch out for the flash. Just keep stalling. Start Baron again. Start Baron again. Start Baron again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash nose. Yo, guys, guys, guys. Start the Baron. Cork needs to base and then fight. Get his TP. They don't have Nocturne Aatrox ult, though. This is so bad. Oh my god, T1 can throw the whole game here. Yeah, I think they're gonna throw the whole game here. Maokai's gonna... Oh my god, are you sure you wanna finish it? Smite the 2k, maybe? Just kill Maokai? Oh, Poby killed Jin! Poby! Ow, no! Oh, uh, Corky, kill Corky, kill Corky, kill Corky! Big!
All right, they pulled it off. A bit sketchy. A bit sketchy, but they got it. Reckless with Warmox there was so broken, by the way. Like, he tanked Baron for so long on the first start and then just regened it all back up. Warmox, Warmox is so busted. All right, game three. Score reset. All right, there's 20 champs banned this game. These 10, these 10, and then they'll ban another 10. Ooh, Rumble first pick, Skarner trade, I like it. Do we get, we get, we can't get Corky, we can't get Tristana. I think it is a Lucian Nami game, or it's a Yone game. Yone Karfus, Skarner Vi. Ooh, what if they do, oh, they can't do, oh, it's smart, you know. I don't like it too much, but they can't play Zaya Rakan on through three. Zaya Rakan here would be crazy with Rumble into Vi. They can't do... They could do Chase... Oh, they can't do Chase Maokai, though. They could do Rumble Wukong Kaisa. Yeah, oh my god, that's busted. Oh, Jesus, that's OP. Oh, Rumble Wukong Kaisa there is disgusting. They can't play Talia mid. They have to play Ari or Orianna. Yeah, Talia's gone. Oh, Orianna against this is hard. It's really hard. Oh my god. So let me get this straight. Tristana's gone. Zeri's gone. Jin's gone. Kalista's gone. Esriel's gone. Senna and Ash are down, and they're dropping bot lane, so they can ban Lucian Draven or something. So what are you gonna play bot? What are they gonna play bot? They're gonna have to play some kind of Jinx game or something. I don't know, you, you say Varus chat, and you're right, you found the champ Varus, good job. But Varus against Kai'Sa Wukong Rumble? You know what I think they should do? Oh, I'm thinking Caitlyn Lux, but I feel like they're gonna get lane swapped on and it's over. They can't do Caitlyn Lux. I mean, they need a range support for Reckless. Uh, they could play like Jinx Melio, but I think that's free lose as well. Ooh, Draven's open. But Draven is also quite hard, but I think Draven might be the play. I think they have to take Rel. What happens if they get Kai'Sa, Rel, Wukong, Rumble? Chase? Or... Oh, it's banned. They banned Rel. Oh my god, I just realized they did three mini spot bans. Oh, Jesus, saved. Oh, I hate Varus. I hate it. I hate it. I think Smash also doesn't like it. What support can you play with Varus here? Oh my god, they're gonna play Varus Janna, aren't they? Oh, it's so dog shit. I hate it. Asol is pretty good in that draft. But what support can you play? <laughs> you can't play Alistar. You can't play Rakan. You can't play Rel, North Leona. You can't play Renata. Kaisa, what? You could play Sejuani support here. It would be pretty good. Raga support. Just go Poppy, or? Or is it Rumble support, actually? Fuck, actually, you can't play Poppy then. They're flexing Gregas Rumble, maybe. I mean, I don't know the players. I don't know who's playing what. He's gonna go Janna. I know he's gonna go Janna. Janna support against... Oof. It could work. Was Nico bad? Yeah, Nico wasn't great. So it is Gregas support. Actually, that frees up the Janna a bit. I feel like maybe Janna is good into Gregas support. Varus has to go on hit. Yeah. Uh, sure. I don't really think the Varus build matters too much. It's just whether Jenna can save him or not. Looks like he is going on hit, but they have barrier, they have heal. He's playing Hail of Blades Jenna to win the lane. Reckless has an umbrella. Yeah, if it rains, T1 bot lane will be fine, sure. And this is first pick this split, by the way, so it doesn't, it doesn't count. Well, Gregas E will do a lot here, but um, I feel like it can be interrupted by Janna Q, but the E flash is where you'll get the slam dunk, IMO. And the Halo Blades with W, lots of autos. Gregas has good sustain with his passive, though. But, uh, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't actually lane swap. Poby, I'm gonna need you to do the winning of the lanes. You know, when you see the caps thing where he, like, flashes behind the, the dragon? Can you try that? So, like, a 8 CS lead is okay. Oh, good one. Oh my god, he flashed in front of the coup. Hey, that's actually fine, maybe. Poby! Uh, not every delivery is a meal, but every meal is a delivery. So what? Man, only T1 Academy in the entire world of esports competitive league would play Vi Janna together. The Gragas doesn't have, like, poke or anything. He's got Aftershock, so... I guess they're kind of chilling. As long as they shield the Qs, it won't ever break the shield. Why is Vi and Janna strong, strange together? Well, think about it. Vi goes in, Janna goes out. You know, normally Vi wants Rel, Rakan, Leona, Nautilus, Alistar. Janna will watch him go in from a mile away. But if the Janna can stop the Gregas, Wukong going in, so they don't allow Kaiser to jump in on top of a Rumble ult and an Aurelion Sol ult, then T1's fights are not bad. Ooh, the double ult! The triple, he even got the clone! Oh, Willa's gonna die. 
That's really good that they trade Juan for one there. Skarner's fine. He just TP's back. Nothing in the world. Vi getting a kill is big for the Sunder Rush. Waving him good Vi. Oh, good one, Chatter man. Yo, 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 don't get too cocky. What count is Rumble top? Not many champs count to Rumble top. Some people will say Karma top. Some people might say Cannon top. But overall, Rumble's just fucking OP. What counts to Rumble is your jungler. Ooh, Popster. Yeah, he's got a flying move. He's a dragon. Guys, Bot Tower's almost dead. Just Elpers a little bit. Bot Tower's almost dead. Ooh, TP. Reckless is... <laughs> and he got cancelled top. Me llamo Skarner. I guess the Janna pick's working. Super clutch save. Well, that was Fox's only way to stop the bot push. It was Rumble TP and Gregor's flash. They lost Rumble TP and Gregor's flash. Too early to take bot tower? Nah, take bot tower, take Drake, swap. Play for top tower and Herald. Perfect. So here comes the dragon fight. Not the best. I think itemization wise, T1 is not favored. They have Rylai, Sundered Sky and a Rumble. And uh, they don't really have any good items. But Greg has no flash. Scar no no ult though. Hard fight, hard fight. Just take power. Yeah, I agree. Triforce Vi. I've never seen that before. It's an like old school build. Oh, they got Grubs and Drake. They're on six Grubs. Maybe T1 can get one Grub. Oh, nice flash by Popster. Where's the shockwave at, pup? What? Why didn't he shockwave on the Vi ult? Fucking Poby, man. Yeah, Guan needs to be a bit more tanky. This is uh, a bit rough. And the Triforce Vi is going to get one tapped. Like here, why isn't Poby ult now? Ult, 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 ult. Like the Var he's fucking Varus ulted, man. Then it's the next Drake. Yeah, actually they can drop Drake if they want. But Poby has no flash. Yo, Pope should be careful. Maybe we just, maybe, maybe they just get Drake. What the fuck? Harold is so busted. Whoa, 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 T1 Esports Academy. What's going on in the mid line? How broken is Harold? What the fuck? They just need survival items. Smashy needs his Rage Blade. Maybe he needs a Wits End or something for the solo lanes. They just need to survive this, this dive. If Varus dies on a dive, it's completely Jover. This Triforce Vi ain't doing nothing. Hobie, don't die here. They have a Nash angle if you die. Watch out for Gragas ult. Well, I didn't over. It's over. It's over. Smash made a mistake. He lost his flash. And they didn't get anything. All they have to do now, Fox, is just right-click Baron on the next ult. And then it's GG. How does Smash ever fight? Well, starting Baron now is really early. Without Wukong ult. This could be a good option for T1. I think Fox is kind of trolling on this Baron style. They should have just taken top tier one. They are missing a few spells. But Gragas flash is what they need to use here. Oh, T1. Oh, T1. Oh my god. This is gonna hurt. Jungle's dead. They're gonna finish. Dal, get in there, boy. That's gone. Maybe Vi could stay further back and then Skarner can tank a lot of it, but... Oh, uh, 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 maybe? Maybe he can lift that smash? Ow! No, he can't. Janna ult was three seconds. Oh, uh, they got one. Can they cook? Janna ult was so close to being up. Yeah, Poby needs to start pressing that R button. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's a really good rumble loop, but no follow up. Dal's driving away. Well, Sparrow's flash is up now, but they've lost so many towers and so much gold. This early on Soul, when he gets ult upgrade, it's going to be a one tap. Baron's in 140. Big problems. Reckless is out of wards. He needs to base for wards ASAP. How can Varus auto attack into the comp? Yeah, that's the fun part. He can't. I'm waiting for this Baron start. Oh, look, Aesol, Aesol, Aesol can get caught here. There's a level 16 Rumble, level 14, there's a level 15 Kai'Sa, level 13. The only way T1 wins a fight is if Vi or Rihanna somehow one-pop Aesol or Kai'Sa. I, I think otherwise it's just lost. This already on Soul Rumble is gonna murder everyone on T1. It's lost. I, they have like a 10% chance to win the fight. Like, it's crazy how OP Fox is right now. But a Baron Steel, on the other hand... Now, we like those odds. That's a 50-50. Don't Kai'Sa ult, please. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, 
I think Fox, Kaiser should have stayed top and started pushing. I think Fox is trolling here. I think the Drake doesn't matter. They have a mega top wave. They should have just started forcing through top, I think. Guys, don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Uh, it's completely lost. This game is completely lost. It's absolutely Jover. T1's probably going to get their first loss here. I'm surprised they don't have objective bounties, though. They have triple Zonyas. Locket, Abyssal Mask. Is Baron off? It is off as well. Okay, they can hold. They can hold. They're fine. He's going Jack Show on Varus. Yeah, get that ASAP. Maybe they'll get Jack Show on Varus for the next fight. That'll be huge. Yeah, she could go Serpent's Fang. I mean, they have got Vi, Skarno, or Rihanna, Jenna. I think Serpent's Fang wouldn't be too bad. What Guan needs to do now is he needs to do the Vi Flash combo, where you ult someone and you flash so it hits them earlier than they think, so they get surprised. And he needs to do that on A Soul with a Shockwave. Oh, wait! Go on! It's a Mega Steel! It's a Mega Steel! They're gonna have to... Yo, Janna, use Qs and shit! Stop that wave! Toby, ult the wave! Ult the wave! Ult the wave! Give, 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 give. Give. Ah, oh, hell no, run! Run! But now that he's stolen Baron, this game is gonna take a little bit longer. Might have to ult that wave. What the fuck was that? But I think this game might go on a bit longer, obviously. And it might go to an Elder fight. And if it does, T1 actually not, not too bad. I think Varus is going GA as well. Oh, she did go BT. Guan will have GA for Elder. He might... Um, Dal might get Randwins. They might also get GA. Maybe it's playable. There's still three minutes till Elder, though. There's going to be a long time before anything happens. Oh, Varus has GA. Huge. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Oh my god, no! Maybe they can win this, actually. Maybe they can win this, though! Maybe they can win this! Smash the SGA! Smash the SGA! Smash the SGA! Hold up! Fuck! A few misplays there. That's really unlucky.